If you don't know how to guide your client through a story and a narrative, it is going to be a difficult ride for your business. I'm telling you, let's get into it. What's going on, everybody? The Ring Collective is the name of the channel. Tank top is a little snug, but let's get right into it. One of the biggest things, I'm gonna get, we're gonna jump right into it. I don't wanna waste your time. One of the biggest things that I am focused on, and you need to focus on as well, if you are a videographer, filmmaker, whatever title that you want to have, doesn't matter if you are beginning, intermediate, middle of the career, advanced, one thing that always is at the forefront of when I'm working with a client, new clients, current clients, reoccurring clients, is making sure I'm telling the story, telling their story, telling the brand story. That is something that is so crucial and also what can separate you from other videographers, content creators out there. Let's just call it, let's just say videographer, so I won't have to go down the whole list, <laughs> right? It is so crucial. It's one thing to be able to capture a great image. You know, you have your two cameras set up, you have your B-roll, everything is great. But if you're not able to create a flow, create a, a stream that can take the person watching on a bit of a journey, then what is it really? Yes, you may have a great product, but is it something that is of real value? Or, or, or are you shortchanging the person with giving them more value? Because the reason they brought you on board was because they felt that your work can help add value to their business. So I primarily work with a lot of small to medium-sized businesses. And one thing, it doesn't matter what the industry is, I'm always trying to find that story within it, that thread within the ethos of the business, the, the ethos of the person, the owner, the CEO. I wanna know the origin story. You know, I guess maybe because I'm into like comics and I'm into you know Marvel and all those movies and anime, so I'm big on just story. I'm big on a hero's journey. You know, those were the things that I was watching as I was coming up. Those were my films, right? So early, early that I could really like understand what I'm watching. I was watching anime. So early '90s, I'm watching anime. Then I saw Pulp Fiction. <laughs> so it goes from me watching anime to now being introduced to like Tarantino. Right. So that was kind of my introduction to film and camera and just storyline. And I guess that was kind of like the origin story of like how I really started to become interested in just the camera, not knowing that, you know, what it would turn into or anything. But it goes back to Tarantino, a lot of dialogue. You know, they, he takes you on the story, the story, whether the story is all over the place, you know, it's in the middle, then it comes back to the beginning, all of that. Anime, very heavy into the story. You know, I'm, I used to be a low-key gamer back in the day, and I was really into the RPGs and things like that. So I'm a person who enjoys to be immersed in another world. So I kind of take that same style and put it into the brand that I'm doing the work for. You know, even if it's like real estate, for example, where a lot of times most real estate videos, when you see them, it's like, okay, what is it? You're gonna have a gimbal, so whatever mirrorless camera they got on there, and they're just taking you through the house, showing you the rooms. It's gonna be a wide angle lens, yeah, it's gonna be very bright, you know, making sure the rooms look bigger than they, they normally are, and then that's pretty much it. They'll have some lower thirds explaining what each room is. And all right, see you later. Go ahead and reach out to the agent. As opposed to, I want to create a narrative behind who is selling this place, right? I want to create a narrative of the home itself. Like, what kind of feeling do you get from this house? So what kind of mood does this place create? So I like to really get involved, the agent, in it as well, to where I want to have like an interview with the agent, right? And kind of splice that together and put that together with, that's crazy. <laughs> We're going to keep, you see? All right. Hey, here's another lesson for you guys. Anybody who's getting into videography, you got to be ready to pivot, okay? My, my battery just died. <laughs> my light just died behind me, but we're going to keep this thing going, right? So 
I like to create a story. And when you're doing that, now you make your content, you make your work, you make your film, you make your pieces of content, you make you make it more engaging, you make it more immersive, right? I keep going back to that word immersive. If you can get a viewer to be immersed in what you are producing, that's value to your client. Eyeballs, attention is the new dollar. If you can get eyeballs in the business, you get attention to the business, you can get you can get money. It's not always the best product. It is how many eyeballs can you get on it? Who has the most attention? Who has the most attention will make more money. You could have the greatest product in the world. You could have it's it's amazing, it's this and that, but if no one knows about it, is it truly a great product? If the tree falls, they know it. You, you get it. All right. <laughs> so listen, because my light died, I guess that's the cue that I should wrap this up as well. But think about it on your next shoot. What is the story? What is the narrative? What is the theme? What is something that I could connect from the brand or the owner or if it's a personal brand? How can I connect an emotion to whoever is going to be watching? So more videos on the way. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. You don't know how much that makes a difference boosting this channel. We're trying to grow this thing. We want to grow it beyond just cameras and camera talk and tech. We want to really make this into a community. And I say we because it doesn't happen unless you guys watch. It doesn't happen if people get engaged in this stuff. It doesn't happen unless people call me, hit me up, ready for work. So it's a we thing. It's a community thing. More videos are on the way. Let's go.